Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I am Becky and today we're going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout using this paper pad right here. I think it's called Well Hello by My Mind's Eye. I am just going to pick a couple papers out of here. This uh, aqua stripe is going to serve as my background. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull out this cactus piece. I'm going to trim this one up and put it on the back side of my background just to make it a little bit more sturdy. What I did is I trimmed it down to an 11 and a half by 11 and a half uh, so it wouldn't be too hard to put down. I don't I didn't want to take the time to line up a 12 by 12 with a 12 by 12. That's that's too much for me. <laughs> so I when I do this, I always trim it to 11 and a half by 11 and a half. You can see I am going to be using this photo right here of Riley. This is a pretty old one. Um, she wasn't even walking in this photo yet. So, yeah, I don't know the exact date. I'm going to have to get with her mom to figure that out. Here I am going to go ahead and make this a very basic layout with, you know, one strip on the left hand side and then a strip over on the right hand side. Actually, two little strips over on the left hand side and one over on the right hand side. I'm going to be using this same paper as the background, but I'm going to use it in pink and that is where one strip will go on the left and on the right just like that. That's pretty much going to be the setup of my my layout. Now I was trying to use stuff that was on my desk. I did recently pick up these the kind of plastic stickers. I believe they're from Vicki Booten. And I'm going to use the Sage Cheese. It's in a pink. The pink's a little bit darker than the side stripe, but that's okay. It didn't bother me too much. But I do also have some twine on my desk. It is an orange twine. And I make that kind of a big part of it. You can actually see a little bit of the twine sticking um, at the top right hand corner of the screen. Here I am going through pieces in my scrap rack and I did pull out some Vicki Booten uh, page that I just have Vicki Booten embellishments, die cuts glued down on. And also I picked out these orange flowers right here. These orange flowers my sister had sent to me. In my hometown we have a little shop and they carry like overages and discontinued items and sometimes a lot of very old stuff and I do believe these are super old Kaiser Craft um, embellishments. She did find a couple packs that they had there and, and again it's an outlet so it was you know relatively cheap so she did pick me up a couple and sent them to me. This was like last year the year before last and I've still been working with those. It does take me quite some time to go through a whole pack of die cuts. I don't really use that much. Now you can see this is where I pulled in that twine. I went ahead and wrapped it around the photo and here I am going to tie a little bow in there. I wanted to get more orange in. Um, I thought it was fantastic that I was able to use these orange flowers and why not use more orange. Again, like I said, I was using a lot of stuff that was sitting on my desk. I do have those stamped images over on the right hand side. I thought I'd be able to use some of those. I don't end up using any of those though, but I did. I did really think I was going to. Um, I do need to cut those out. A lot of times before, or when Jim and I will go on vacation or whatnot, I will stamp out some images and color them. That's what I'll do for a little bit of crafty time for myself during vacation. And so these are some of those images that I was able to do that with. Uh, I do have quite a few that I need to cut out. Some do have thin cuts and some do not. So over here on the left hand side of my page, I am going to go ahead and stick down this triangular paper and also that stripe paper. But I want to mimic the twine that is on the photo. So in the seam between the pink and the triangle, you see I did not overlap it. I just butted it up together. Um, so I'd have a little bit of a seam there, hoping that that seam would catch the twine in it a little bit. I am going to run my twine through there. Sorry that the light keeps shifting from light to dark. We've had some really weird wet weather here lately. Also, when I... Um, moved my room around a little bit I ended up I had got a new calyx unit it's um two by four is that what it is four up and two across and I put it in front of the window and it has not done me any favors with my lighting so yeah uh I might need to rethink that we'll see 
I did go ahead and put the twine up there like I said I was going to do. I did not tie a bow in this one and I will put a little bit of that art glitter glue down along that seam just to kind of hold it in place. Like I said, I thought it would kind of stay there on its own, but eh, I don't know. It's not really going to end up working that way. I will go ahead and commit to the placement of the big flower. The big flower I just cut into half and put a little at the top and a little over on the right hand side of the photo. And then I have a smaller flower that I'm going to pop up on some foam tape. I'm going to put a little bit of foam tape on either side of that twine because if I would have just put it over the twine, obviously the twine will make it lift up. So I just put a little bit of foam tape down to the left hand side and to the right hand side of that twine to go ahead and stick this flower down. Now I am a little off screen. I've been having this problem. <laughs> I've been having this problem recently. It's called a problem of not paying attention. Uh, on this one, I did go ahead and pull out that spiral. I was going to look through there and I will end up doing that. I went ahead and took some hearts off of the same package that the Say Cheese came on. Those are going to end up going away. I'm going to pull those back off real quick. Um, here are a recollections pack. Now I've had these for forever and they just have a couple flowers in them. So I pull out the flowers that have orange on them. I was able to get three of them used. I think there's three or four left on that pack. I've had those forever. Like I said, oh my gosh, I am so excited that I was able to get those used. That was a lot of fun. Here, I'm going to go ahead and pull that spiral notebook out again and, and flip through it. I do end up finding this little camera piece and I will find one more little bit that is actually from a Vicki Booten um, pack that says this on it. Here I'm just going to go around and scatter around at some of these enamel dots. Those are some my mind's eye. I just used the pink. This little tag right here, it says this. I will put it right down there at an angle. And after that, I don't put any more embellishments on here, but I do pull out some Recollections Shimmer Spray. Um, pick that up at Michael's from the Bo Boho Bohemian um, collection that came out last year. I do have some of that Shimmer Spray left still, so I give that a splatter on the page. You see, I kind of went a little crazy with it down there at the bottom right, but whatever. It still looks cute. I do really enjoy how this turned out. And I have plenty of room down there underneath the title for journaling or even way up at the top if I feel like it. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I check the links down below and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.